it's uh, game two of exhibition season and uh, final uh, for the most part, uh, you know, people call it tune-up, but I think it's a it's an opportunity for us to find out a little bit more about our basketball team and get them out there with officials and, uh, and fans and uh, get get more into a, a playing uh, setting in, in their minds and uh, and hopefully it'll give me an opportunity to figure out the guys that so we're less we're probably <clears throat> when you look at Friday you're a week away from opening up so uh, got to have some guys in mind uh, who going to be playing and. Uh, who are going to be the core guys. And, and so this game here will give me another opportunity to uh, to see these guys in that setting. So I'm, I'm anxious to see them uh, playing against uh, Southwest Baptist uh, School, uh, coached by Sheehy. And his dad was the coach at John Brown, a uh, really, really sharp, sharp young coach. And uh, his team already played a game at, I think it was at Cape Girardeau. They played Southeast uh, Missouri State, played until probably about a – uh, I think it was a close game for the most part. So, uh, again, I'm, I'm more interested in, in what we're doing and uh, can we put two halves together. The other night, uh, uh, I thought against Tusculan, I thought we, for the first half, we kind of, uh, well, you saw it. You know, we didn't, we didn't take care of the basketball, so we got to clean that up. Uh, then, of course, free throw line, we were, we were, we were horrendous at, at the free throw line, especially in the first half. Second half, I thought we settled down and uh, and played like we've been practicing for the most part. So, so I want to see a continuation of that second half versus that first half, and uh, again, see if our guys can come out defensively and uh, rebound better, be a little more physical, you know, around the basket, uh, scoring uh, from that department, and get into our defenses. So, again, uh, this is the last exhibition game, and then it's for real after that. <clears throat> what have you seen from Jalen Harris since practice started, and what do you, you know, like how do you think he played the other night? Just what, how, how do you think he's doing, and what are you expecting from him? Uh, you know, I think it's his his time to uh, hopefully go out and, and try to lead a team. Uh, I see a guy that's uh, looking forward to the uh, opportunity to do that. Um, he's worked extremely hard in, in practice in off season you know, in terms of shooting the basketball and uh, the ball handling and. Uh, leadership, I think that's going to be a big part of, of what he does, and some of that's going to be by example. Uh, I thought the other night, I thought he he was playing too fast early in the, in the early part of the game. He got fouled, got a couple of fouls, you know, hand checking, uh, trying to do things real fast. Uh, the second half, we saw the impact he can have on the game, and you know, whether it be distributing the basketball, uh, uh, harassing on defense, uh, uh, rebounding. He's pretty athletic too. Uh, he's kind of sneaky athletic if you don't watch him. So, uh, but I think he could be great, you know, with a pressure defense, um, with the understanding of, you know, you got to have patience. And, and what I mean by patience is that you you're not you know, trying to steal every pass. You're just trying to disrupt. And the more he does that and have the patience, then I think it's gonna trickle with our team because the other guys are watching him, Keyshawn. Uh, Isaiah Joe, uh, those guys are watching him in, in terms of what he's doing. Dads, so uh, again, he's in a, he's in, a, in, in an important spot. I, I tell you that, and so hopefully he can lead uh, by example in, in terms of how he plays. Just with the first game, Gafford already having the, the foul trouble. How kind of important is that to get him in that happy medium where you play aggressive, but you know don't get in early foul trouble. Well, you know, his fouls, I, I thought they were kind of lazy fouls, really. You know, I think some of them were like jumping sideways when a guy come in there. And, and obviously now, if you're in that lane, you can jump straight up. I mean, with his length at 6'11", jumping straight up, especially within that arc, uh, that, that plays into his advantage. So uh, just – and I think he probably got one with his hands you know, pushing behind there. Uh, it's important that he understand that, you know, and uh, so we had a chance to watch some tape. Uh, we had uh, the head of official, Mark Whitehead, came in and talked to our guys for about 15 minutes about, you know, the do's and don'ts of what they're going to be emphasizing this year, and I thought that was beneficial to our guys. Uh, so uh, uh, he's in a different different position now, and obviously he's got to understand the value that he has to our basketball team, and just play smarter. Uh, I think that's the biggest key, play smarter. Uh, as you said, there's a, there's a thin line. You know, you play hard and smart, and he's got to do both of those. And, yeah, you guys fell behind 8 nothing the other night, and, you know, kind of came out slow. The guys were talking about jitters. 
do you think with this being the second exhibition game, maybe there'll, there'll be less of that with with all the new guys? I'm looking looking for them to you know, <clears throat> to, to have a continuous of that second half. You know, be a, be aggressive, be in attack mode, take good shots, get to the offensive glass. Uh, we got to the free throw line. Just got to make free throws. So uh, the way we play it is a game of runs. It's a game of runs, and so if we can continue to have you know. 10 0 runs, 8 2 runs. Again, you say we got behind 8 0. I think we went up 12 or 13 to 12 or something like that. So that was a run there. So it, the way we play is a game of runs. And with us playing so many guys, uh, 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 you'll see that. Uh, but we just got to have a continuous of what took place the other night and just go out and uh, uh, do the things we do in practice every day. Such an inexperienced team. Can they make a, like, can they make a big change from last week to the, like in a week's time? Can they make a lot of improvement just because there's so much you know ceiling for them because they're so young? Well, you, you hope to, Bob. I, I think you know from game one to game two, <clears throat> uh, they actually had had an opportunity to go against someone other than themselves, and so uh, and they you know uh, I thought Tuscan came out and played much harder than we did early on. I really did, and they, they were real physical with the loose balls diving on the floor, um, so it gives these guys a sense of. Understanding that you, know, you got to play with that sense of urgency, uh, you know, from uh, when you get out there, and don't take, don't take it for granted the minutes that you get out there. Uh, so, uh, like I said, I'm just trying to create some habits in their mind that when they go out there, whether it be two, three, four minutes, give us the hardest, uh, most efficient minutes you can give us. Uh, and I think once they create the habits of doing that, and that's what you try to do, create habits in practice where they're doing that, and so it could. Just take that practice to the game. Lineup combinations or, or player pairings that you thought were pretty productive the other night. Or some of the lineups. Yeah, some of the, just some of the lineup combinations or, or player pairings. Uh, I thought when Gabe came in, Gabe was so born, and, and uh, he fell the other day in, his, in practice. And you know, I, I hope he's effective. Uh, uh, Dave can put some. Dave England, our training, can put some magic on him. He fell and hit his tailbone the other day in practice, and he's a. Uh, but he practiced the. Uh, I think it was Tuesday. We were off Wednesday, uh, but I thought Gabe came and ignited us. I thought he gave us that that glue, energy guy they did last year, doing multiple things for us, uh, uh, creating fouls against the opponents, attacking the basket, uh, rebounding the basketball, making some nice passes out there, uh, taking charges. Uh, uh, I thought. Him coming out there injected a lot of energy with our basketball team. Uh, I thought Cheney, uh, in the first half when he came off, I thought he came in, you know, was one of those guys playing above the rim, uh, uh, getting offensive rebounds, uh, got to get better at the free throw line. So, uh, again, these guys are getting some seasoning. Uh, uh, the combinations, uh, uh, we're going to have about seven to eight starters with this team. I say that every year. and it, it may be true to form. Uh, Dez Seals, I thought Dez, um, I thought he was a spark plug out there, you know, on the floor. Uh, he had multiple assists, uh, uh, especially with the start that uh, Jalen Harris had. So it was good to see those guys come in and, and, and contribute. Uh, Adriel, the second half was better than it was the first half. So uh, it, again, you're getting you're getting uh, good minutes from some this guy, that guy, first half, second half. Now we got to do it both halves. Uh, uh, but in terms of the combination, we're still searching. We're still trying to find the guys that, when they come out there, they're, they're, they're clicking. They're doing some really good things. Hey, Mike, you mentioned the other day, I think you were hoping to get Jordan Phelps back maybe for the start of November. And I guess this is November. Is, is, he, is he practicing yet? Or? I think I said late okay. November. Oh, OK, so he's still not. Don't be putting words in my mouth, Bob. OK, sorry. I said late November, we'll get him back okay. to practicing a little bit. And hopefully, no, no, he is not. No, he's not. And then with this being the last exhibition game before, you know, you play Texas, do you, do you shorten your bench at all tomorrow night or do you still play, you know, pretty much everybody? I pretty much played the guys, you know, uh, probably play most of the guys. I probably give extensive minutes to the guys that, that are going to be those core guys. And so we'll, we'll see how the game goes. Uh, but I'm still looking. I'm trying to find the guys that, that can go out there and perform. You know, it's like Ethan Henderson. He didn't get many minutes the other night. He'll get more minutes to show me what he's capable of doing. Uh, uh, so it's going to be one of those situations where, you know, as the game unfolds, we'll we'll see who's out there. 
but I want to get a great look at them and, and get a little bit more continuity, get a little more continuity in terms of the guys that are going to play. Uh, uh, I thought uh, Keyshawn Embry, I thought he gave us some pretty good minutes, uh, especially in the, in the second half, and that, that was good to see uh, because he's one of those guys, I think, in practice, you know, just getting in shape because of the injury he had, he, getting his body in shape and getting everything back in tune. Uh, so it's going to be important that we have multiple guys that are ready to go, ready to come out and and, and play for us. Okay. Hey, with, with Jalen Harris, did you guys recruit him out of high school, or kind of how'd you how'd you guys end up getting on him? Uh, T, uh, I think uh, Coach Cleveland was very familiar with him. Uh, you know, he played with a John Wall team, and uh, and I think it was one of those deals where you know, our guards were pretty set. And uh, then um, obviously he was looking to transfer, and um, so uh, so we were contacted, and then it just he ended up here. Yeah, but I kind of wanted to get your your core group ready for Texas. Is, is it still being determined? I mean, are, are minutes still pretty? Com the, the competition for minutes is still pretty. Yeah, yeah. Pretty competitions intense. are. This is still this is audition too, uh, in, in terms of a live scrimmage. This is audition too. Uh, uh, and I'm talking about in a public setting. I see them every day. So I, in my mind, I got an idea, but I want to see them you know, on display when you know, the lights are on. 